Hello and welcome back to Marine Max here in Pompano Beach. My name is Chris and behind me is a brand new Sea Ray 260 SLX. The 260 is one of the newest additions to the SLX lineup. We're going to show you some of the features inside and why this is a perfect boat for you and your family. Starting here on the exterior, one thing that has been redone in this 260 is from the water line down. They've actually increased the thickness of the fiberglass, giving you a much more solid ride for those days where we're going to be doing some offshore cruising and to give you a little bit more sense of safety when you're out there doing some open ocean cruises. Nice backlight here on the Sea Ray emblem, a new feature here. And as you can see, I think just the lines on this boat are absolutely gorgeous. You've got a nice sheer line with the rub rail that works its way down to the transom. You've got a nice aggressive profile with the windshield cap and the tower. We'll get to more of that as we jump inside. The 260 does include a little bit more of an exterior light feature, so I like the fact that I can pop a little bit of color here on my gunnel as I work my way into the boat. I do have stainless steel Fender Pro receivers, so it's a quick release tab, so I don't have to go chasing down a cleat every time I want to pop in a fender. And as I work my way to the back of the boat, one thing I really like is that Siri gave me an extra long grab handle here on both port and starboard sides of the transom. So obviously nice to be able to help with reboarding, but I also like it's a great place to tie your friends off to if you just want to have people rafted up off of the back of the boat. You've got a couple points to be able to tie people off to, so a nice feature there. This boat is powered with a 300 Mercury Verado. This is the V8, so it's a very quiet motor, very little vibration that runs through the boat, so great power package for this boat. The entire floor is covered in the Sea Deck materials, so you've got nice uh, cushion under your feet as well as knocking down some of the heat for those hotter days on the water. Here on the transom you can see I do have a very large sun pad and I do have access into my port side storage compartment here and this is also where my battery switches are going to be but a very deep very spacious compartment to be able to stow larger items into the boat that you typically wouldn't be able to in a boat of 26 feet of size. Nice feature here too, if we are just hanging out on the sandbar, I do have a nice insulated cooler here just to pop a couple extra drinks in so I don't have to get into the boat and go navigate into my cooler, so a great feature there. And we'll go ahead and work our way inside. You can see the light kind of pops through this non-skid material here as well, so a nice t attention to detail. A nice courtesy light upon entry with a additional insulated cooler, so if we are Having a full crew and tons of drinks on board that day, you got a place to ice down everything for everybody on board. Just an unbelievable attention to detail. I love the way the 260's finished out. I got four beverage holders that are all backlit. Beautiful contrast stitching in this wraparound seat. I do have storage underneath this compartment here, which is actually fed from that aft end storage compartment, so the entire thing is shared. So any big, long toys can be stowed right underneath there, which is a nice feature. Right in the center is going to be a table receiver, so I can pop a table in right here if I wanted to do some entertaining that day. And then also just below is my onboard battery charger. You can see the theme and the lighting in the rope light underneath my bolsters there in my backrests. And then two very designer helm chairs here, one for the helm station and then also one as an observer seat. Both of these seats are adjustable, so I can move these fore and aft. I can also spin them completely. So if I wanted to have the seats facing aft and I can enjoy my company and use it more of a lounger, the seats actually give the opportunity to be able to do that. Cool thing in the 260, obviously we've got these massive speakers inside, but I also have the ability to power this tower down. So right there on the side of the gunnel is my tower power up and down. And so I can actually lower this tower and it'll actually sit flush with the windshield here. So if I get caught in a storm or if I need to get under a low bridge, instead of it just pivoting, the whole thing will actually articulate down and give you way better bridge clearance in the 260. So a great thought there from Sea Ray. As we take a look here at the helm, very comfortable. I've got a nice elevated footrest there, but if you look at how this is laid out, I really feel like I'm in a sports car. They do a phenomenal job in how they flush mount everything up against the black acrylic. I have an inductive phone charger right here in the center, two beverage holders, backlit rocker switches, and a perfect position for my digital throttle and shift. And then I do have my Lenco trim tabs with my LED indicator right here, right at the steering wheel. The steering wheel is on a tilt base, so I can really dial this in and get it as comfortable as the driver needs. Over here on the port hand side, a lockable headspace catches there on a magnet that does have a vacuum flush head with a holding tank and overboard discharge. I also do have a sink, so a nice spacious head, and also a lockable glove box here on top. Real quick before I forget, I just wanted to show the amount of storage you have under here for your cooler. And if you do have somebody sitting in that seat and wanted to access your cooler, you got an opening door there to be able to get into there. 
Working our way up to the bow, nice stainless steel cap all the way around the windshield, really creates that profile that we saw from the exterior and a nice tension to detail there. I do have my windshield wiper as well. But look at the bow, I mean, just again, just the consistency and the theme. I do have my contrast stitching, beautiful finish in the upholstery here, very comfortable. I do have two individual flip down armrests, in floor storage, beverage holders right here, and a stainless steel grab handle to be as comfortable as I'd like up here in the front of the boat. What's nice too is that I have easy access to my ground tackle up here in the front. So I do have my windlass anchor and an additional freshwater sprayer to be able to rinse this off when I bring my anchor back in. I hope you all enjoyed this walkthrough of the 260 SLX. If you had any questions or wanted to set an appointment to see this boat in person, feel free to call or text me on my cell phone at 727-460-4175.